I'm so excited to announce that the So What series is back. Yes. So you guys know last year I did not bring the So What series back. I took a whole year off of doing the So What series. And if you are not familiar with the So What series is, it is a sew along base. Every month I do another thing as oh, what are we sewing this year, <laughs> right? So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Just give me a bag, I'll make you a million, I promise I'll do it myself. I'm setting a bar so hey everyone, a welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the announcement of the So What series. Yes, I am bringing it back for 2024. This is the announcement, but I'm also gonna give you some details as well into what the So What series is if you are new here, all right? So if you are new to the channel, oh, welcome. Hello, child, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, sambanani, salon, bonjour, tarve. If you're returning, you guys know what to do. Quick snack, something to drink, grab your notebooks while you have the time, <laughs> right? And come on back so we can go ahead and get into this video because we like to keep these videos short, sweet, to the point give you all the deets and the news that you could do use on this video. So without further ado, to keep it short, sweet, but keep it brief, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so if you are not familiar, when I dropped the So What series back in 2022, we talked about, I think there were nine to 10 courses that I dropped that year in 2022. And then in 2023, I was just like, yeah, gonna move away from it because I'm gonna be doing so long base for the make nine 2023 so now many of you have asked about the so what series in 2023 and I was just like mm, I wasn't gonna tell you that I'm gonna bring it back in 2024 but it's here <laughs> yes it is here so before I get into what we're gonna be sewing let me first take you back down mem memory lane in 2022 all right so the So What series is basically a sew along style series where every month I drop a new sew along for something that you guys have voted on, all right? So there's different categories. Now, this year I plan on doing 20. Now in 2022, I did 10. 2024, I am planning on doing 20 courses, all right? Now, I know you're like, hey, Rochelle, you know, like, why 20? Um, let's just say that's where we stopped at, okay? Bringing you back up to speed from 2022 into 2023 and now 2024, 20 courses. Now, I do have these slotted by different days um, throughout the year, so that's how it's going to happen, but... Let's talk about what I did in 2022. All right, so course number one. Now I'm gonna definitely be picking up from the last course. So the first course that I will be doing, I believe is course number 11, 10. I'm sorry, course number 10. So I did nine in 2022. So the first course that I dropped was a pillow. So the pattern that I used was Simplicity 8226 for that pattern. And I dropped that back in February of 2022, right? Now, I am going to link to the entire playlist for the So What series in the description box below, as well as on the end screen. So if you are not familiar, you could go there and see all of the So Alongs as part of the So What series from 2022. 2024 will also be in this playlist as well as I drop them, all right? From the pillowcase, we went into a tote bag. And the tote bag that I did was, I believe it was 1338. But if I'm incorrect, I'll put it up on the screen so you're able to see that. You guys love it. Now with that one, I did create a, what is called a recessed zipper. So creating a tote bag, you know, your tote bag is open and things start falling out. So I decided to do a recessed zipper to where you could definitely zip up your tote bag and nothing has fallen out as well. So I definitely showed you how you can definitely hack any tote pattern and create that recessed zipper, all right? So from there, I did a two-piece set and I did two two-piece sets. The first one was a woven two-piece set where I used New Look 6668 for that pattern. 
and created like this. Um, if I remember correctly, it was a light purple top that had inverted pleats and then a skirt for that pattern. And I'll put it up so you are able to see. I'll put all the thumbnails up so you're able to see that. So I love it. I still have both pieces in my closet. I don't wear it a lot, but I do wear the top quite a bit. The skirt, I really don't wear much, but I love the two-piece set, all right? From there, I created the knit set. And the knit set was Simplicity 9226 for that pattern. And it was just basically a navy blue knit set I love, I wear quite often. <laughs> so that's what I did for that. And then from there, um, I created a, a pencil skirt. Yes, a pencil skirt. And I believe that pattern was McCall's 83. 31, I believe is that pattern number. And for that skirt, and if I'm incorrect on any of the pat patterns, I will definitely correct those, all right? But I'm sorry, it's not 8031, it's 8051. So this pattern is also an older pattern, which is McCall's 3803, which I use the old pattern instead of the new pattern because some of these patterns are being reissued. So I created that and I went back into like my, Janet Jackson, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, uh, is what I was going for in all the posing for uh, that skirt, okay? So, and I just basically paired it with a black tank and the skirt with some shimmery on it. I put the fabric in the description box below if you're interested in that one, all right? So from that pencil skirt, I created a, a two-piece set. And that two-piece set was a... Um, button down shirt and another pencil skirt, which was New Look 6697. Now I originally created this for the business wardrobe series. However, it also fit into the So What series as well. So I did that for that, which was New Look 6697. From there, I went into course number seven, which I did a peplum, okay? So for this, for course number seven, I took a pattern, a basic, when I say basic, I took McCall 7542, which is also McCall's 8161, which is a basic top. And what I did was in course seven, I hacked it and just created a peplum, right? And all I did was basically just showed you how to draft um, a square for a ruffle, um, gather it and put it on the bottom of that top and you created you a ruffle. You could also take that same pattern pattern extend it and make you a dress as well. I did not do the dress because I didn't feel there was a need to do the dress if you have the peplum top, all right? From there, course number nine, I did a lightweight jacket using the same pattern. And what I did was I just basically create, uh, I moved the um, zipper from the back, moved it to the front, and then after I moved that zipper from the back to the front, um, I extended the spacing by an inch, if I remember correctly, installed a zipper, did some you know, maneuvering to make it a little bit bigger to form as a jacket. So it was a lightweight jacket. I drafted some facing. I showed you how to draft facing, how you could take just a basic pattern and hack it, all right? So that part portion was more of like a hackathon a little bit um, per se. And I will get into more of kind of like hacking patterns and how you could hack a pattern to get what you want as well. Um, but that's what I did there. And then the last one that I did in 2022 was a infinity, kind of like an infinity, romper you could pretty much say and that pattern was mccall's 8119 for the shorts and i believe it's mccall's 8119 for the shorts and then i drafted some long ties that you could tie it however you want i'll put all of the photos up on the screen so you're able to see that as well so that's what i did that was the bonus uh project that i did and that so what series was amazing like i said i will definitely put the um, playlist in the description box below as well as on the end screen so you can see 2022 before moving over into 2024. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the, I, I said 20, but we're gonna get all the way to course number 20, so it's 10, I'm sorry, it's 10. I'm gonna be doing 10 to 11 
um, so what series courses this year. So by the end of the year, we will have a total of 20 courses this year for the so what series. All right. So let me tell you how this is going to work. So we're going to be back to my Google sheets and on my Google sheets, it's going to show you, and I have the Google sheets in the description box below on the Google sheet. It's going to tell you, um, what patterns you can vote on. You will only be able to vote on one per category. Okay. So we will have, I'm just going to give you the categories and let me tell you this. Some of them will not have pictures up yet because I'm waiting on like spring patterns, summer patterns, fall patterns, winter patterns, what have you. Now, some of them I'm already locked into one of the patterns that you vote on. All right. And I'm not going to be changing those simply because for instance, when it comes to like a shacket pattern or when it comes to like a winter coat, um, I have to go by what is available to me in my market. And what that means is basically because I know I'm not going to work with wool for coat because I would never wear it simply because of my climate. Um, I would sew the jacket in a lighter weight. Okay. Or the coat in a lighter weight, uh, fabric. All right. So let me give you kind of like an idea of um, what we're going to be sewing in terms of courses from courses 10 to courses 20. All right. So now I want to say this, all of the Google forms will close two weeks before the posting date. So I just want to say that the first course, course number 10, you have into, I'm going to, um, you have until January 21st, which is two weeks before um, the Google form closes. Now, when I say that it's closed, it's closed. You will not be able to vote any at, on any of the, um, for, form, um, for that. And then I will open it back up once course number 10 drops. All right. So I want to say course number 10 is scheduled to drop February 4th. I will be working on the sew along for it once it closed. So that gives me two weeks to work on the sew along and post for you guys by February 4th. All right. So what we're going to be sewing is a winter coat. Yes. I'm starting this one off with a winter coat. And the reason why is simply because we get down towards November, December, and I don't do a winter coat because it's still hot. So I want to do a winter coat while it's still cold outside. Um, lately it's been in the forties here in Orlando. So it's a perfect time to do a winter coat and basically be able to wear it for another month. And then again in November, December timeframe. So we're going to start off with the winter coat and the Google form will show you some of the patterns that are on the list that you are able to vote on. Please vote because it helps me. Um, if I do not get enough votes, I will just go ahead and figure out whichever one I want to do. And you can see this all along for that. All right. Um, so that's that number 11 will be your classic button down shirt or shacket pattern that you could vote on course. 12 would be early spring pants. Course 13 will be a spring blazer or jacket. Course 14 will be your spring set. So it will be a two piece set there. Course 15 will be early summer two piece set. So early summer two piece set is what it's going to be. Course 16 will be my summer three piece set. So I will be sewing three pieces there. Course 17 will be an early fall duster or vest. Course number 18 will be a trench coat, right? <laughs> Course number 19 will be a sweatshirt a car or a court cardigan there. All right. And then course number 20, I will end with a fall jacket or coat. So that is what the schedule looks like for the So What series this year. Stay tuned to all of the So What series. Reason being is because once a course drop, the form will open up for you to vote for two weeks and then close in order for me to tally up which one. Well, it's going to show me which one won and I could go ahead and start getting the items that I that I need for the sew along. All right. So I hope you are super excited for the sew wet series. Now I'm not going to say I'm going live on this or anything, um, in terms of 
Are you gonna be doing a live for this? I probably won't. I will probably do my sew along like I've been doing them um, and film them in advance in order to drop because it cuts out a lot of dead air from me running back and forth to the sewing machine and the cutting table, all right? So I hope you're excited about the Sew What series that's coming back and you guys get to a vote on the pattern that you would like to see once again. So I know back in 2022, I did not do a viewer's choice vote, but this one will be a little different and I will let you guys vote on the pattern um, as well like I did for my Make 9 20. 23. All right. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And since the, since you made it this far, and if this video was educational, informative, and fun, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. Also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing. You don't know what I dealt with, dawg, I was spraying that I wouldn't fail You don't know what I dealt with, dawg, I was spraying that I would prevail They was sewing them two leaves, I was riding with my foolies, yeah We was making a movie, regardless of traffic, we moving, yeah I came up from the south side, hopping a coupe with the frog eyes I